Hello, Eagles fans, and welcome inside the film room on PhiladelphiaEagles.com. I'm Fran Duffy, and joined by Greg Cosell from NFL Films. And Greg, today we're going to talk about the tight end position and what trait is it that yeah. helps set those players apart? Because obviously, lots of tight ends come into the league every year, and you're always looking for players that can set themselves apart from other players in this draft class. And athleticism seems to be the fastest way to do that. Well, tight ends, as much as any position, Fran, are team and scheme specific. I mean, look, we look at the Washington Redskins in the Eagles division, Jordan Reed. He's used a certain way by Jay Gruden. If, if you draft Jordan Reed and think you're going to make him an inline blocker in a power run game, then he's probably going to be out of the league in three years. So they're more team and scheme specific than any position. I think a lot of people now want tight ends that are receiving threats, which means you can line them up anywhere in the formation, and they can run routes. They can win one-on-one -on -one against linebackers and safeties, and at times corners. So I think when you start there, you look at someone like, Hunter Henry from Arkansas. Absolutely. You look at Thomas Duarte from UCLA, who may be this year's version of Jordan Reed because he really is a wide receiver with a bigger body. I think he's about 232, 35, which is about what Jordan Reed is, and I think that's a very valid comparison. But I think being a receiving tight end is probably seen as more important now than just the ability to line up and down block in the run game. So how do you weigh that as an evaluator when you yeah. look at a guy like Hunter Henry it's or Thomas team. Duarte, who never was asked to block for UCLA, right. especially in line, how do you weigh that when you're trying to evaluate and project them to the league? Well, I think you have to have a real good feel for what the skill set of the player is and then how it fits how you want to use him. You don't draft Thomas Duarte and say, okay, he's going to be our inline tight end and he's going to be our power run blocker. You don't do that. If you do that, you're making a mistake. So that impacts how you see a tight end. You take someone like Nick Vanette from Ohio State. Big kid, not unathletic, but certainly not at the level of Hunter Henry or Thomas Duarte. He's more of the, the two-pronged tight end. He can be an inline blocker at 200, what, 60, 265 pounds. Has enough receiving skill. In some ways, I look at a Nick Vanette at this point. Can he become, down the road, a Heath Miller kind of player? That's what your hope is, a good inline blocker a quality secondary receiving threat who can maybe catch, depending on what team he's on, 50 or 60 balls, but not going to be your, your, your 90 catch guy. You know, there'll be some team that looks at a Nick Vanette, depending on the way they play offense, as a very valuable piece of an offensive puzzle. Yeah, and it's really interesting with Vanette, too, because he was very much underused in that Ohio State offense, so the production was not there. It feels like the arrow is pointing up with him. How about Tyler Higby, a guy that yeah. was very productive, had some injury issues this past year, but was very productive for Western Kentucky. Another, to me, more of a receiving yeah. type tight end who you can line up. Of course, uh, that offense uh, with Brandon Dowdy, spread offense. So Higby was not a line of scrimmage tight end. He was much more of a detached from the formation kind of player. I think he's another guy trending up, Fran. I think he's a guy that has good athleticism. I don't see him, in all honesty, that far removed from a Hunter Henry in terms of movement skill. I don't think he'll be drafted near where Henry gets drafted just because of the things you mentioned. But I think Tyler Higby is another guy. You know, I, I always think of someone like a Sean Payton who has such a great feel for these movable chess piece kinds of players. And, and, a guy, and he's not the only one. He's just someone who comes to my mind. And I think Tyler Higby is that kind of guy. How much importance do you place on route running for a tight end as compared to a wide receiver? Because yeah. you know, you're in the middle of the field, things are happening, happening faster, much less margin for error inside as a tight end compared to a wide receiver. When you think of a guy like Henry Krieger Koble from Iowa, Ryan Malik from Virginia Tech, some of these guys are a little bit more advanced as a route yeah. runner. Where do you place that in terms of trades? It's for important because it happens fast. Yeah. In the middle of the field, there's more bodies. It happens fast. You're not working outside where there's more space. And you have to have a really good feel for zone concepts. You have to know how to uncover. You, you know, you have to be able to get into zone voids. And the other thing is, it, if it's man, you it, it's separation in such a small area. You're not coming out of a break and then running for four or five more yards like a wide receiver. You have to be able to snap your head around and be ready to catch the ball instantaneously because you're working in such small space. Well, Greg Cosell, I appreciate the time once again here inside the film room on PhiladelphiaEagles.com. For Greg, I'm Fran Duffy. We'll see you next time inside the film room.